So a regular expression is a string uh, as a special string that describes a pattern to be used to matching or searching within the other strings. So it's a it's a something related to the patterns, and you know that regular string uh, like like re regular uh, like regular expressions are one of the very important part of now almost all of the programming languages and on, almost or everywhere you can just use them. And if you talk about you, if you just we quickly want to see some of the regular expressions in action, what we can see here is that we can just have a quick look at it. And we can say that, for example, let like regular expression is equal to, you know, so how, how we define regular expression here, we define by using two forward slashes. So this two forward slash will represent a, a regular expression and regular expression will be useful, will be helpful for you in any of the situations where you want to, uh, where you want to just, you know, work on uh, some pattern matching. And that pattern matching has become one of the, you know, a global concept, a global jargon that has been used so many times, so many places. Whenever you have to go somewhere, you need to find out, you know, some of the some of the regular expression. So now a regular expression can be written. First of all, how we can write that. For example, if I write something like this, I've written down a regular expression. So this is regular expression that will match exactly the cat word, maybe C-A-T, whenever you will define a cat and you want to match that cat word somewhere, you will have that regular expression of forward slash C-A-T, the cat. Right? And another way, this is the regular expression literal. If you talk about, if I, if I say RE1 equal to, we can define that by using reg x regular expression right and what we can do is that we can just define maybe for example cat this cat is also become what the regular expression so you you can use any of the methods you can just create an object of regular expression you can create a literal of regular expressions that's all up to you so it's it's it's, it's something that is on your side you can define anything at all and uh, you know that there are let's quickly discuss few of the few of the uh, like you know uh, there are certain flags that are used and that flag represent what type of searching you want to make for example if i say backslash i so we are we are saying that ignore the case and whatever case comes on you have to just find out like you have to just match that so it's it's ignoring the case for example if, if there is one g g is used for global so you can use ig or gi for both, both of them that means that search out each and everything in a in a particular regular expression so as i said uh, i'll be talking about that so there are these two these are the two methods of making the regular expressions you can use a literal or you can use a, a you know new format so now there are certain regular expressions are dense and often easier to write than to read so they are uh, this is an interesting statement that they are, they are easier to write than read so basically sometimes it will be very difficult to read them but if you know if you uh, if you know how to write them so writing will become very easy but again of course if you if you once know it you will be easily reading that out as well so it's helpful to use various tools to help you as experiment with the patterns and try to understand and debug your regular expression so we have got certain tools online tools that we have that we can use for for checking our our string or for checking how we can write regular expression you are you are already familiar with it we'll be just looking at it so there are these different options as x r regular x and regex pal so i'm opening up the third one maybe if you can just go to the third one and open it up I want all of you to just follow it up. Right. So I'm expecting everyone to be following me. And if there is something that you want to. So again, for example, I was giving you an example of cat. There is a cat word. And maybe there is a cat with S. Maybe there is a cat with dot or anything, whatever. So we have got these different, different cats implementation over here. And I want to write a regular expression that will match this one. Right. So now let's start from this one. Now, if I have to just write a regular expression that will match a cat, this is very easy and this is very simple and we can just write down this cat. And now you see that this has this has basically done what? It has it, it, it is basically just combining all these cats. So cats has been recognized by this regular expression. And you know that this 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 is basically what? That it will recognize any of the any of the word cat if this cat comes. And the, the flags I were talking about, that flags are basically in this regex file. You, you can see that there are the flags. And you see that G, fl G flag is already, is already active. It's already you know, turned off. And it's looking at everywhere. For example, if I write cat, dog, cat. So again, wherever, wherever this cat word will come, it will catch that one. Maybe that comes as a part of the word, or maybe that comes as the, as the end of the part of the word. So wherever cat will come, this will recognize. So my regular expression cat backs uh, like forward slash g. If I just take out this global from here, 
So you see that it only finds out the first cat and there is no rest of the cat. So global, we usually go about the global one and we say that we want to search everything from that particular regular expression. So this is the this is the thing that whenever we just write something and again, if it is matching to that, it will just say that, yes, I recognize this cat word. I recognize this because this is matching our, you know, uh, you know, uh, like a regular expression and it, it it is basically doing that. Now, what if that, as I said, for example, if I have cat, cats and cat dot or maybe a cat with a bracket sign starting or something. So, you know, they are not recognized. If you see, they are not blue in color. It's only showing to, it's only matching to this cat and it's not matching to anything else. For example, let me just hit them and cat. For example, I've written down cats or I've written down, as I said, bracket sign. So this bracket sign is not recognized. Why? Because the, our regular expression only says that I can recognize C, A, T, nothing else, right? So there is nothing else that would be recognized by a, by a, uh, by a regular expression. So this regular expression will do what? We'll try to find out what. So again, uh, if I want anything to be recognized after cat, anything to be recognized, so I will no need a dot. A dot in regular expression means everything. You know, you are you are familiar with asterisk, but here what we say is that dot here will work as in a way that dot will tell that anything that for that is followed by the cat. So if I follow anything after the cat, for example, sorry, not here. So if the cat word is followed by anything at all, if I write dog, if I write cat again, so cat is recognized even with the space. I've given one space, so it, it recognizes the cat. Are you getting that? Or maybe if I say if I cat bracket sign, cat close bracket, cat ampersand or anything. So now this regular expression is doing what? Whenever I write anything with the cat word, it would quickly recognize that. Right? So what if if you want to if you want to uh, uh, Maruch, yes, yes, the dot is for one character. Yeah, we are right. So cat followed by any character, for example. But when I give another space, it's not giving the character. Yes, this is for uh, okay, I'll, I'll tell you which one, what, what does that mean, question mark? But right now, just consider uh, Maruk's question. Maruk said that dot is for one character. Yes, Maruk, you're right. Dot will replace one character. So one character followed by the cat. We, we'll talk about the question mark as well. Shortly, we just, I'm just going into a sequence. We are going in a, in a sequence, right? So now cat followed by a, okay, what if I want to say that cat should, cat can be followed by, uh, for example, if I write S, so, you know, if I write S, it would be recognized. And maybe let's let's talk about I want cat to be recognized with S or a G. For example, two words. So now if we have to make two words, now come here and make square brackets. And write down G or whatever. You say the C. Cat should be followed by C. Now you see here. If I write a cat with C or S, like followed by C and S, it will be recognized. If I write cat with T or E, is it recognizing? Now what it is doing that it says that now I have a set of uh, values. If these values will come, I will recognize cat. If these values do not come, I won't recognize, a, recognize that word. So cat with an S or cat with a C would be recognized, but nothing else. I hope that is making sense to everyone. So if I write K C A D E C A D E whatever, won't recognize. And how it will recognize? Again, if I write cat S or cat C, whatever. Or let's let's make it more interesting if i put a dot here right i'm putting a dot over here so now what is what is happening now this dot okay let's let's first um, let's first quickly do one another thing we get this dot and we recognize you know what does that mean you know yeah mark you had asked the question so you know that dot means anything that is followed by cat any any single character that is followed by cat and what if I want to match this cat dot, that there should be a dot. For example, for example, not here. Let me just write that down. And I, I write cat dot. So it's not, it's recognizing. For example, if I say cat dot dot. So what does that mean? What I want to say that in regular expressions, we can escape few characters. We can escape few characters from being inside character. What does that mean? For example, what I do, I just remove this one and I write here, whenever I say cat 
backslash dot right what does that mean now see here now cat dot is also recognized right actual dot actual period if you are talking about actual period that it should be followed by a by a specifically a dot so again if you have and dot is a dot has a specific meaning dot has a specific meaning means that dot is represents any character so if i want to have a physical dot after that what i'll do is that i will place a backslash and backslash will you know escape that dot i think you you are you remember escape sequences so whenever whenever i am putting this backslash dot it represents that i am escaping this dot and for example if i write this another dot that means that i want to have this specifically this is another value that is followed by that so for example if i write this cat dot 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 it will be recognized right or cat dot s it will be recognized but what if i want to have a specifically dot i will have to just you know uh, escape that one uh, and does that make sense to everyone mark you says an actual dot you understanding on nushin and maru kushman uh, kushman you got it what what i'm trying to say okay that's very good so backslash is used for what backslash is used for you know escaping the character for escaping the character now interestingly it is used for escaping the character but interestingly what i was talking you we were talking about if s or c is followed by cat that would be oh yes yes you wrote, you, you 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 use a lot and if you are using something like this for example so now you you know what is happening now it is when when i have to present a dot as an as an option in the string i will do an actual period actual dot i will i can place it without a escape sequence i escape inside that square brackets in that square brackets we can just directly write this dot so now you know what does that mean what does that mean a cat will be recognized a cat will be recognized with s and c right and anything at all if i write a no why because i presented this dot inside the square brackets that means it will be recognized by a dot by a dot s or c i hope everyone everyone understands that anyhow let's move forward and let's do one thing if i place a e i o u you know the vowels we are talking about so we say that if any vowel comes after cat you recognize it and if it is not a vowel or maybe and and if if it is not literally not any character yes yes the square brackets has its own literal meanings yes you are right it's not taken literally so now if i do this this one or i do a e i o u small or capital that one so if cat is followed by any of the vowel maybe this is uh, like in a small letter or maybe in a cap letter it will recognize it if i write a recognized if i write e recognized if i write b b is not recognized so that means now it will only recognize what values if it's a it's a vowel maybe it's in a small letter form or maybe it's in a capital letter form both forms it has to be a vowel everyone everyone understands that and now if i say that everything that is not a vowel so if i if i ask you that please make a make a make a regular expression that recognizes cat where anything but it should not be a vowel so if it is not a vowel there can be a lots of things consonants there are special characters there are lots of lots of things so now regular expression has provided us a very easy way of doing that and what is that before this set inside this square brackets go and put a caret symbol you know caret symbol shift and 6 key 6 key on the keyboard if you do that caret symbol represents just the opposite whatever we are giving it is the just the opposite of it i hope everyone recognize it now if i write cat a it won't be recognized if i write cat oh again my system has has given me ah uh, sufyan said what does that mean just to, let's roll on of sufyan uh, i'm i'm understanding that you people are able to hear me my system has gone a bit of freeze but again looks like sufyan you are hearing me right you have asked a question sufyan you have asked a question are you hearing me okay thank you thank you thank you very much because my system has you know it it goes freeze for some time i hope it will be back so sufyan is asking what is that sufyan what is that what i am saying is caret symbol uh, if you if you see your on your keyboard if you see six key number you will have a caret symbol you know uh, this power symbol or you whatever you call it it's a caret symbol specifically so uh, sufyan if we place this before any of the value what happens is uh, uh, uh. uh 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 is something going on hopefully i'm back yes looks like i'm back ha party hat or whatever you call it 
uh, yes, exactly. This represents the carrot represents anything other than this square bracket. So you see here, if I if I ask after if I write after cat, I write B. So B is not in A E I O U. Caps are small, so it will be recognized. If I write, for example, ampersand dollar sign whatever will be recognized with cat. I hope uh, Sofyan, you got the point. And where is that symbol? I I hope you know that this is a carrot carrot symbol represented. Okay, now let's talk about something interesting. Uh, let's talk about uh, something that, for example, if I say that I want to recognize a number two, two, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have this usually a number of two to six. Anyone can tell me? Cat and cat backslash dot again. Okay, Maruf says cat and cat backslash. Uh, the difference between cat and cat backslash. Okay, Maruf, let 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 me just tell you. If I uh, if I write this uh, regular expression cat star, you know, it means Maruf, I can write cat dot. I can write cat e. I can write cat three. I can write cat m percent. Whatever. Dot means whatever. Samuel, no problem. You you will you will catch from here. We are using this regex pal website. You can just exit that. So as uh, Maruf, are you getting that? Yes. It means any character. A simple dot means any character. Is that right? But what if you want to make a regular expression that only recognizes cat dot? You know, right now it is recognizing cat dot, but it is also recognizing cat six. It is recognizing cat eight, whatever. But I want to write a, a regular expression that only recognizes cat dot and nothing else. So how I write that? I would write something like that. Yes, literally a dot. Yes. If I do something like this, now see what happens. Now see what happens. Cat dot is recognized. Cat six. Is it followed in that regular expression? Maruk, I hope you got the concept. Literal or not literal? That's very good. That's very good. So now, yes, I was talking about something like our phone numbers: two to six, space one to three, space four, five, six, seven. Maybe someone has this number. So you know that we have. Can we use cat instead of cat dot instead of cat? Oh yes, yes, uh, Dhawal, uh, you can use that. You are right. That you can use that as well. So Maruf, you can you can see that Dhawal has given an example. So in a square brackets, if I give just a dot, so that means it's equal to that. I'm 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 you know escaping that dot. Oh, that's yes, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dawan, for sharing that. Okay, so now I, let me let us talk about this these numbers, these numbers, and I want to I want to I want to make a regular expression for recognizing a number. So now listen, anything a number, if you have to recognize any number, the numbers are represented by a special character, and it is called small d. But since it's a special character, we need to backslash that b. Backslash D is for all digits. Okay, for everyone, for Maruf, and for everyone, else, of course. If I write something like this, if I write something like this, and I write cat A, uh, cat A, would it be recognized? Oh, cat, like my regular expression says, the cat should be followed by what? A digit, a number. If I write five, recognized. If I write nine, recognized. If I write a special character, not recognized. I hope everyone is understanding that. Please, please write. Okay, that's very good. Now, now what is the opposite of this? Like as we discussed, yes, D any digit, any digit. So what is the opposite of it? Uh, opposite is yes, backslash capital D. That's good. Push one to share that. Backslash capital D. If I write capital D and if I write capital D, it won't be recognized. Why? Because now I have given that capital D means the opposite of everything. It will be opposite of everything. Right. So now we can. What what we can do is that we can say that this is this is basically something. Let's before going into that number, let's discuss one or one 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 two more things. What we can do is that we can. Yes, everything except for digits. Yes, Carol, that's very good. Someone wants to say something. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you mind if you can explain again about like uh, slash after after the uh, the letter like. You just say like slash and after D, after that is D letter. Oh, okay, okay. So you are using backslash. We are talking about backslash. Is it trialing? Yeah, I'm trying. Okay. Well, try, try. I, I, I'll just try to explain that. Try to explain that. You see here, try. Yeah. And let me just give you that example again because I've been taking this example. Hopefully, you'll understand that. You remember we said that I can make a cat dot. Yeah. Cat dot means any character. You know. Yeah. I can write a three, four, five, whatever I want. I will write whatever it will recognize it. Why? Because this is a dot. Dot means anything, right? Yeah. Now, 
if i want to have a regular expression that only recognizes the dot what i'll do is that i will place a backslash backslash is called escaping okay. escaping escaping means that now the dot which is coming has is not the is has some special meaning or, or literal dot we i am talking about over here why because dot uh, i am talking about a literal dot there should be a, only a dot over here now if you see uh, you see a uh, uh, try you will see the difference does it recognize cat t no. no and why not recognize because now i'm saying literally there should be a dot backslash i have escaped that dot otherwise that dot would have its own meaning that any word can be followed by that Okay, okay. Okay. Try just just one more thing for you, just for you only. If I write another dot over here, what does that mean? What type of word it will recognize? Can you can you tell me, Trily? What type of word it will recognize? This. It's yes. gonna be a cat, dog. Dot and dog. And then any character, you know? Then any character. If I write A, B, C, D, whatever. Dog A. Okay. So so you know the difference between these top these two dots and backslash uh, now? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, Riley? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's very good. That's very good to know. That's very good. Thank you. Know. Okay, so now I was telling you that there are multiple ways of using few things. Now, if I do something like this, A to Z, capital A to Z, and without any space, small A to Z, and I write zero to nine, I close that in the inside that. Do you see something happening on my on the bottom of my like in the middle of my screen? It has started to recognize everything other than dot. Now you see here. If I write whatever, if I write numbers, it is recognizing everything. But if I write special character, of course, it is not recognizing. You understand what is happening? Capital A to Z, small A to Z, or zero to nine. Whatever comes, you recognize at recognize that specifically, right? So what it is not recognizing is first of all, it is not recognizing the space. It is not recognizing the yes, exactly for a special character for a sp without a space, it is recognizing everything. Now, for for everyone's information, it it will be very very interesting. Now, if I write backslash w, backslash w does the same thing. Backslash w is basically a replacement for a to z, a to z, zero to nine, whatever. So everything, if you write anything other than special characters, will be considered as a as a word. Yes, a b c underscore. X Y Z. So yes, it, it is. It also includes underscore. Yes, you know, because underscore usually it comes as a as a word because it it is combining your two words together, right? Which one? Thank you. So so Kian got the point. It searches everything for the special character. And what about everything not a word? <laughs> Which one? Very easy. What I should do? Capital W. So capital W means now everything other than these characters. For example, I am for. Etc. 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 So you know everywhere space is being recognized. Everywhere dollar sign is being recognized. Everywhere caret sign has been recognized. Everywhere everything has been recognized. Capital W. Not a word. Non-word you can call it. Right? Non-word. Now let's talk about something interesting. And as I was talking in the beginning, because now you people know few things, lots of things. Now we are talking about something. I say that I have to make a regular expression for recognizing a number: two to six, one to three, four, five, six, seven. This is usually the number format that we are following over here, right? So let's talk about the first one. The first one has to be a digit. Everyone recognizes it. So I write a backslash d, backslash d. Uh, wait, I thought only recognizes one character inside it only. Jason recognizes one character. Uh, you mean? Uh, okay. Uh, you are talking about something like this, you know? Uh, Jason, are you talking about this? Like, for example, you said that it will only recognize one character. Yeah, because when you did A to Z, A to Z, zero to nine. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, yes. So Kushman has helped help us out. Definitely, basically taking care of that. You know, every every letter and that forward slash W is whatever letter is coming, it is coming inside that one. Thank you, Khushwan. Uh, you have given a very good answer. Okay, just just let's 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 check that one. No problems, no issues. And and you can just you can check that A to Z, A to Z. Okay, so let's let's put on put off put off that flag, and at A B C D. So you know it's only the only one character. So thank you, Khushwan. Thank you very much. You have been actively participating here. Okay, so now. Now let's talk about something which I am trying since a long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Now let's try to make this digit uh, like expression. So first of all, the first number should be a digit backslash b. The second should be a digit backslash b. Third should be a digit backslash b. Right? And and for the time being, I'm just writing it something like this because this is this is anyone's phone number. You know, two two six one two three four five six seven. So it has first three digits, right? And then followed by more digits backslash d. Backslash D, backslash D, backslash D, backslash D, backslash D, backslash D. That's all. So it is recognizing my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many numbers we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten numbers. It is recognizing our ten numbers. Everyone understands that. But what if? What if? If someone writes something like this, space, which is the right way of sometimes, which is the right way of writing this number. If I write two two six one two three four five six seven, it is not recognized. So one way of handling that, one way of handling that, I know that after three digits there can be a space, or there is a space. Right now I'm saying that there will definitely be a space. So after three digits, what I'll do is there is a special character for space backslash s. Right after three digits, I want to give a space. After three digits again, I want to give a space. Everyone recognizing what I'm saying? Now, now there is another problem. Now, now we'll have another problem, another type of problem. Now it is recognizing my number. Now, what if, what if I do something like this? It is not recognized in my regular expression. You see that now one, two, two, six, one, two, three, four. Why? Because now I'm saying that there definitely must be a space over there, right? So, what is the method of following that? Quickly follow that. Now, after the S, if I go and I just place a question mark after S. Both s. If I place a question mark after s, question mark says an optional, optional character. So this space over here is an optional space. That whether there will be any space or whether there will be not be any space, right? So if I if I if I again say that, if I again say that I want to just I I I have this number. Just hold on a minute. I have this number. And I want to. I, there can be a space after two to six, or there can be no space. So if I do a space over here, or maybe yes. So you do see it's still, still working. If I give a space after one to three, it's working. And if I give another space, it's still working. If I don't give a space, then also it is working. And if I give a space, then also it is working. So question mark. What is that question mark? Everyone understands now. Question mark is for optional values. So if some value is optional, you have this question mark over there. That's good. Carol is saying that they recognize, uh, they understand it, right? And now, now let's talk about another interesting aspect. Some people do something like this: this bracket sign, close bracket sign. So if that is something is coming, again my 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 characters are not recognized. Okay. So for that, what I'll do? Let's come here. What I'll do is before these three digits, what I can do is that I will place a a bracket sign. But you know. Since this also has a literal has a has a meaning as well, you know, it, you can it can be it can be interpreted. So what I'll do, what I need to do, I need to just escape that, escape a bracket over here, and you know, escape a bracket over here, the closing bracket. So I've escaped a closing bracket over here. Now the same thing, this will be recognized, but now. It won't recognize this two two six one two three four five five six seven. Now it's not recognizing this anymore. What should I do? Your answer, please. I need answer from you, not from first one, from the others, because first one is hopefully getting the concepts very clearly. So can anyone tell me what what should I do? A question mark. That's very good. Not after it's string, so Kian. It has to be a question mark, as Mark said, the bracket sign, because bracket sign is also now optional over here. Yes, question mark over here. And question mark. So we we just write after bracket, like you know, after that, and it should be. Am I writing it correctly? It should it should recognize this question mark after that, and question mark after that. Optional. Yes, it should. Why no, it's not recognizing it over here? Interesting. Two to six, and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why is it not recognizing? I've done something wrong with it, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
this question mark should be backslash question mark uh, bracket sign uh can anyone find if i am doing something wrong here maybe because it's not recognizing this it should recognize this two to six as well because there is a uh, 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 okay maybe you need to delete the first line no no not not at all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, uh. not really let me just see that not really. I'll have to escape bracket and question mark. Optional, it has become. I have to escape a bracket, a question mark, followed. Hmm. We don't have a global flag. Uh, global option, I've closed that. Oh, uh, yes. So the global option was off. I'm sorry. The global option was off. <laughs> so yes, thank you very much, Mark, for finding out the problem quickly. So the global option was off, you know. Now it is recognizing it this one as well. If you write, if you write something like this, if you're writing number in that way, if you're writing number in that way, it will recognize both of them. So if I write two to six, two to six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, recognize. If I write something like this, and even even I can do that as well, a very awkward sort of thing. Five, six, seven. So it recognizes. So starting bracket is missing, or the, uh, the ending bracket is missing, no problems. Now there is another problem. Right? So there is another problem that we have given this space as optional. You you might be familiar with there are two other letters which says a zero looking a, a zero existence or no exist uh, or many existence one existence or many existence. Can can anyone tell me what are those characters which we use for that zero existence or more existence one existence or more existence? What are those special letters? Anyone? Because the, because you know someone can write someone can write a one space or someone can write multiple spaces. If multiple spaces come, problem occurs because it says that now there is a multiple space and it, it does not recognize because we said that space is one one optional character. It might come or it might not come, but we have not mentioned. Okay, Maruf, thank you very much. Now let's come back here. Uh, uh, first one plus is for one or many. Uh, asterisk is for zero or many. So Maruf has has got it right. So now got it star over here and same here because you don't know how many spaces might come. Or someone might be thinking that who who will be the full person giving so many spaces in a phone number? But you know, please bear in mind that people usually copy and paste phone numbers from the other forms, from the other places. So your regular expression should be ready to catch that as well. Sometimes it happens that you you will say that who who will be the foolish person putting five or seven spaces in in, in the, inside that? Yes, <laughs> so assignment has such such type of things, of course. So that's why that's why we are just handling it because you know, Kushman, are you getting that? People are used to of copying and pasting the documents from from here and there. So you know, then what what happens is that it comes up with a lot of spaces, and if those spaces come into your system, of course your system will start acting weird. So you have to just handle and that and that your own end. Right. So now I hope everyone is trying to trying to get what we are basically what we are basically just doing over here. And now uh, now we have got a number phone number. That can recognize almost any of the any of the problems, any of the any of the number. But there is still something remaining. If someone does something like this, right? If someone does something like this, if I write two to six dash one two three dash four five six seven, now it won't be recognized. Can you people quickly write down a regular expression that will recognize this dot as well, or maybe space or anything? Can you quickly give, a, give me a definition? I'm waiting for your side. Who will be able to write that one by using this above expression? Yes, who is there who can write down that dashes will also be recognized? A dash or anything will be recognized, or any space would be recognized. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Just quickly come up with some solution. A dash or a space should be recognized. Both of these things should be recognized over here. Can you just add dash after the start? Jason, write down the write down the regular expression. Check that on regexpal and 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 share it with me. Okay, maybe you're right. I don't know. 
maybe zilale just try that in regular expression screen in this screen and and come up with a solution what will be the solution yes who is coming up with the solution i'm waiting for someone to come up okay so here comes uh, so first one is it working fine like is, is it working with the dash as well okay let's copy this one from kushwan and let's let me just oh you didn't check okay let's see rishab says s stars removes with backslash dash rest star removes with backslash dash i don't i i don't understand what you are saying rishab looks like you have copied and pasted different thing yes anyone coming up with that 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 one okay okay <laughs> so yes mark have you checked that like you have to do and like that in the rest okay can you come up with a complete solution and then we'll we'll just paste that solution and check that one oh hoshwan can you share your which one is your working like can you can you share it again can you share it again i will i'll run it for you over here uh who said idk idk if it's the same as hoshwan okay that's good Okay, Khushwant is saying that this one. So Khushwant, I'm just taking your regular expression and trying to paste that over here in my screen, in my place. Okay, it's working. If I write any spaces, it will be working. Okay, is there anyone who who, who else has come up with any other solution? Otherwise, we'll consider this one as as a as a you know. Okay, is there anyone? Okay, so just like right now, just considering this as a solution. So, okay, just a reminder, same. So that's very good. That's very good. So now, what it is doing? It's basically, it's basically giving us that uh, that we have got this dashed or maybe any values that that will be followed by that, and we can do a uh, lots of things depending upon that. Now, let's talk about something uh, interesting, something that we have that we were just talking about, like uh, we were talking about the. uh notes of our this week uh, like third week we were talking about the notes of that and let me talk about few important things so now we have talked about regular expression now if if i show you something like this now you can make sense of it okay uh, one one last thing before going anywhere because you know here we have these three digits we can we can more summarize that one and how we can more summarize that one i will just do one thing after this backslash d you place a curly braces like curly braces and put three right so this represents exactly the number of digits that you that, that you are looking for first the first one and how about the yes uh, b and then 3 and then you can come over here and you can just write down over here as well a curly braces 3 and here you will be reading uh, you will be writing of course curly braces 4 and see now our our regular expression is more is more you know more robust you can say one one way or other it is ro more robust or you can say that it has it has got multiple things and there are lots of things that you can do with it for example for example if i put a literal if i put a literal bracket over here if i put a literal bracket over here this bracket and if i take this bracket to maybe da 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 da, 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 da till what point till till before dash if i put a, a little bracket over here and for example for example if i put a a question mark over here what does that mean what it will recognize you know now even i can just leave out my 226 the area code or something the mobile code that we have that we use i am considering an area code for example 226 so you can even leave out the 226 you you see that these are the literal variable uh, literal brackets and you know people uh, someone was asking that what is what is the meaning of that bracket so bracket has that literal meaning that it will it will be making up a, a, a patch a, a specific area for for our particular 
for our particular. So this is now a regular expression that looks like very robust, that looks like it will accept anything. And now we have created something very interesting. And now we are we are able to work on that. Okay, so I was saying that these are the special characters that we have used. If you see here, backslash caret sign, and uh, then we have this uh, this uh, this dollar star also. We have not used these all have a special meaning. If you need match them, you have to escape them with the leading backslash. So backslash will 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 do that. And all of these are are being discussed over here. And you see one two three four five six these number examples that we have done. You can just you know work on those numbers. And uh, character matching is question mark. And then you have seen asterisk is and, and then you have seen plus and things like that. So now what we have uh, this 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 caret is basically used for positional positioning as well. So that this caret means you know when we were re representing that inside the square bracket, it was meaning that uh, opposite to that. But now we can do that. Start looking for the match at the beginning of the input string. We could start to see that string begin with the capital letter. So, like for example, you always if you if you just put like something that it will be it will be looking at the special special character. So this literal when it's, this this character when it comes inside that will have a literal different meaning. And if it comes in the beginning, will have different meaning. Similar dollar mark means make the short. So now what we can do is let's 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 check few things interesting things in the console. First of all, let's check few things in the console. For example, I write a regular expression. Yeah, we can check regular expressions over here. If I say d, sorry, small d, curly braces four, I've just given you that uh, that one. So if you there is a there is a method called test, and there are different methods that we can test. So if I say digit four, so what should come inside that? One, two, three, four, or maybe any four digits, four, five, six, seven, whatever, three, two. And if I check that. It's false. Why is it giving false to me? Yes. Maybe backslash G. Okay, let's let's check that one as well. Or dot a test five three two or whatever. But still it is false at least it should not give the false i don't know why it's giving it's not giving what it is supposed to give of course can you check what is the problem maybe we are using the string okay yes you may be right oh uh, still it is false because now we are testing for digits Okay, so regular expression backslash D bracket of three. I forgot backslash D. Are you sure, Mark? I don't know. Let me just check that. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe you are right. Test and one, two, three, four. Let's check it. Oh, three. One, two, three, four. Oh yes, and so, yes. Uh, looks like I, I forgot that. So then that would be in recording, of course. So backslash d. I'm sorry. You know this d has a literal meaning of a backslash. So we were not giving that backslash. So of course it won't it won't recognize it. So now this is the test method. And if you, why why I am discussing this test method? If you see here, we have got different methods for that. Death dot test regular expression dot test text uh, test. You can test regular expression on that, and you will you can run that right, and you will be you will be able to run that specifically to to multiple meanings multiple things and you can you can always check about that okay one more interesting thing this 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 regular expression that we have created i can just copy it from here right and let's come back to our console let's clear it out please keep an eye on that mark if i don't make a mistake right because i usually make a mistake now this is a regular expression and this is the regular expression that was recognizing our number not test Test means now I want to check a number to it. So I write two to six, one to three, four, five, six, seven. See, I get it true. If I if I just give a number which is not on this format, maybe there is one number missing. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, right, there should be. It should be if a number is missing. Oh, why it is why it is recognizing? Of course, of course, of course. Why? Because you remember that I just I just took out that two to six part. 
because yes, I, I I just took out that two to six parts, so it will be recognizing that. So again, if I just you know uh, let me let me just check something, and I will just take out that that part. Which one? You know the question mark and this one, and from this side, this one, right? So now if you test, you see it says not. So if I if I now if I now say two to six, one two three four five six seven. This is recognized, but if I if I just remove one seven, you see that it says false. So it means it's not recognizing that, right? So we can test that in in, in test that as well. Okay, uh, let let's talk about something interesting uh, because you you are very much familiar and you you do that a lot a lot lot of times. For example, let's say the last name is Kushwan Singh Rao. Let's take your last name Rao at gmail dot com. For example, I want to create this one over here. So how I will how I will create its regular expressions, right? So let's let's see that how I will I, I will be creating that regular expression. Now first of all, I want to have you know something bisected from this at the rate sign. And interestingly, this at the rate has does not does not have any specific meaning in in our regular expression. So at the rate. So before at the rate, what I want? Anyone? I want to have any collect any collection of characters. It can be raw. It can be raw one two three. It can be raw four five six. Whatever it can happen. So what I do is that what I can do, I can place a bracket and a W. And not only this W, but like like in fact, if if I do this plus over here, what happens? That now we have got this backslash W and plus. What does that mean? That word letters, any type of letters, at least there must be how many letters? How many how many letters should be there? Must be one. And this is one question that you were talking about. You were talking about the plus, and Maruk said asterisk, or someone said asterisk. So asterisk will be useful over here if I if I want to write that someone writes an email. Okay, let's first test that. So word with anything, and then if you talk about after that, after that, what we are looking for? Let's see. There is some interesting part. I want to have first of all anything of of word. Sorry, anything of word, any, any, anything to, from word, you can just represent, and a dot. Now you see here, and also I need a one from them. How many of you recognize this this complete regular expression? Backslash W plus some some letters, some special letters, some numbers collection, and then at the rate, and then some collection of uh, letters with a dot. So you know. Those who were coming up with the solution of that digit solution, when when you were just mentioning, you know, a space or or that that dash, you could have you could have written down a set over there. So now what happens is that from the at the rate on the this side, any words, any alphanumeric and underscore coming over here, it can be it can be as I said, row, sorry, row, row underscore twenty eight for example or twenty seven or fifty seven at gmail dot com. Right? If I just miss out this, so it's still it's still recognizing why because it's out of that set. It is finding one of the word, and one of the word is that Gmail. So you can handle that as well. Specifically later on, that you don't want it to recognize anything other than this dot. This dot should be the specifically part of it, and you can make it make it also. But since it's inside a bracket, a square bracket, and you are getting one of the word out of it, so it is recognizing that. Uh, how does it find the digit without dash D? Okay, so Sufyan, what I understand from the question is right now, whenever you write this backslash w, if it is a digit or if it is a number, we are not right now just you know uh, extracting them out. We are just putting up that number. So it's this w is just taking care of all those things. You getting? So digits are digits are recognized. Yes, of course. Uh, one of the one of the way can be this Kushwan is mentioning that zero to nine, which I give you this backslash word. It's a backslash Kushwan, not forward slash. Backslash w is basically the representation of a to z and zero to nine. So it's this, as I said you in the in the in the start that this basically is representation of the backslash w is representation of a to z small a to z and as well as this zero to nine and everything comes up here. Uh, no, no problem, Jason. It's not a dumb question. What is the purpose of brackets again? Okay, which brackets you are talking about, Jason? Are you talking about this one before this this green colored one, right? Or you are talking about something like, for example, if I say w and this bracket. Green and purple both have different meanings. Jason, which which for the green ones? Okay, that's very good for the green ones. So green ones are nothing 
but you know it they are just making your expression making your regular expression together so you know making a group and that is called they have a literal meaning a literal name patch group or there there's something but i'll just try, try to find out find that out whenever in regular expression you make a specific section it is called a group and there is some word patch group or something group but it's called a group so this this is just for using for group if you see here i'm grouping it why i'm grouping it because i want to say that any letters should be coming as a plus like there should be one letter or at least or uh, uh, at least okay so what does, what happen if you delete them so khushwan says what happen if i delete them let's delete them so is it still recognizing that so hopefully it might not affect anything at all but that we are making to make you know make uh, make two sections of a regular expression and why making two sections so that we know that before at the rate there is something after at the rate something just to get more clearly could you explain backslash or as well as that okay 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 yes you can know jason this is a very good question now take a note of that backslash is the escape character backslash is the escape character now if i put a bracket sign it means i want to have a literal bracket in my regular expression but if i uh, no if if i put a bracket sign i don't want to have that in my regular expression rather i want it to have giving some some syntactical meanings but if i do that forward backslash and w it means i am giving this as a literal uh, you know part of my regular expression jason backslash escapes the things as we did as we did you remember with backslash dot if i do backslash dot it means i am specifically saying that after dot there should be there should be a dot after that comma right so that 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 really much so but but there are there are the different things that we have to do and you have to do but hopefully now you recognize that how you recognize the gmail address uh, uh, an email address out of our regular expression and we'll do that and we'll as as, as i said there, there are lots of things that we need to discuss after the break i will just explain this one so let's go for a for a 7 to 8 minutes break now and i'll be back somewhere around 44 45 right so because i am tired of speaking